What women are wearing in Paris right now. That is what we're going to be talking about in today's video. While I was in Paris earlier this year, I got to see Parisian summer street style and I also learned tips for French style and how to dress like a true French woman. If you're wondering what to wear in Paris right now, then you are going to love this video because I've also included loads of photographs from my recent trip to Paris. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First things first, in last week's vlog, I mentioned that I was going to be releasing my mapster and without further ado dun 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 it is here so you can go ahead and click this link somewhere or a link in the description box below to purchase this mapster I wanted to price it really affordably for you guys it does have over 68 and growing number of recommendations not only for places that you can eat if you're a vegetarian or a vegan healthy places classic french restaurants plus i wouldn't be doing you a service if i didn't include things like vintage shopping and the best boutiques and pretty much brand name places that you want to hit while you're in paris so be sure to grab that in the description box or by clicking one of these links and I'm so excited for you to get started planning your Paris dream trip. It was the best time in the world planning, and now it's my honor to give that over to you. My concept of what French women were wearing was not far off from what I thought, because thanks to the internet, we can actually see what women are wearing in Paris right now. I didn't expect to see French women wearing so much color. I didn't expect them to be wearing tennis shoes as much as they were and also there was one accessory that really shocked me and surprised me that I saw tons and tons and tons of French women wearing so you have to wait to the end of the video to find out what that accessory is but it's so simple you might be a little bit surprised just like I was in terms of the actual style though I was shocked to see that French women or at least Parisian women are really starting to incorporate more trends into their wardrobe different colors that you might not have seen years ago so very bright colors pinks oranges reds they're really popping out and they're really kind of edging into those edgier places you could say with their style choices footwear was one of those things that i was just very fascinated by for some reason i didn't expect to see so many tennis shoes around and it was kind of like this micro trend that just exploded all over the city the number one style of tennis shoe i saw almost everyone wearing was converse a lot of french women a lot of parisian women and men were wearing high top converse whether they were white or black they would wear them with oversized slacks, oversized sweaters. I saw them with skinny jeans. I saw them with wide leg jeans. I saw them wearing tennis shoes with skirts and dresses. As I mentioned in last week's vlog, it was a ton of Adidas, a ton of Reebok, Stan Smith, and Converse. The preconceived notion that Parisian women wear ballet flats is absolutely true. I saw tons of cute ballet flats. I was really jealous the whole time because they looked so cute and so adorable. Even though I brought ballet flats with me, my feet were killing me because I wasn't able to get the exact ballet flats I was looking for in time to go to Paris. But I did feel like I fit in in that regard. Now let's talk about handbags. I definitely felt like the handbag situation was a big issue when getting ready for Paris. I had tons of comments from viewers who were really concerned for me about bringing my straw handbag, which you can kind of see right there, and then the one that I brought was right here, which has a zipper on the top. I had a French, actual French women commenting and saying, it's not summer anymore, we're not wearing the straw bags anymore, that's really cliche, you're gonna get pickpocketed. A lot of people were really concerned. People were telling me, and I had actually done research on this, you wanna wear a crossbody bag like this one, or this one that has a flap, where you can be more secure with your bag and no one's going to try to pickpocket you. And I was so appreciative of those comments, but in the end I had to go with this straw bag because it, it could carry all the things I needed with me in the moment. I didn't want to wear a backpack because I felt like that would be even more of a problem for pickpockets. But listen, you guys, I was the odd person out wearing this straw bag. Very few people were wearing straw bags. I think I saw one or two women wearing straw bags, but they were wearing more of a totally natural 
uh, color. They weren't wearing anything that was multicolored. And I would say this might be just a few years outdated compared to where we are in the States. So in the United States, I could actually wear these without any problem and be super cute and be mistaken for French, but in Paris, it didn't really resonate. I felt like I was getting a couple of odd looks from people, so that was kind of funny and slightly intimidating. All right, now let's talk about what the women and the men were actually wearing, and I found this to be really inspiring in so many different ways. I saw Parisians from every walk of life, from every body shape and age, rocking great style. And in fact, one of my dear friends, who's also a Francophile, she watches this channel and she's been to my in-person workshops, How to Dress Like a French Girl. Lucy Seeger, if you're watching, what's up girl? I ran into her yesterday and she said, French women do not have an expiration date. And I love how she put that because I saw so many women of a certain age who looked incredible. They didn't at all have this vibe of like, I am in my 60s or 70s or 80s, therefore I have a right to give up on art and fashion and style. Not at all. I tried really hard to get a lot of pictures and you've seen that throughout this video and I hope that has been helpful for you. I would say that the number one outfit I saw most women and men wearing is jeans, a t-shirt, a tennis shoe, and as I promised, the number one accessory was a tote bag, a canvas tote bag. Yeah, I know. So in all of this fashion frenzy, in the myriad of options that women have there, the number one accessory was a canvas tote bag. And the cool thing is, is that it wasn't just about the canvas part, it was about the various designs and logos and sayings that were on the tote itself. That's what made it cool, that's what made it really like a thing, you know, like a trend in the city. This was also encouraging to me because I pretty much lived with my tote bag all throughout college and I have several here at home that I still wear on a daily basis, but it inspired me to get different canvas tote bags while I was in Paris. So the first one being a foodie bag that I got from My Parisian Life. And if you are going to Paris, you absolutely have to either get this foodie bag for yourself or sign up for one of her tours because I didn't do a tour, I wish I would have, but she's amazing and the tote bag is perfect. It could be something that you wear while you're in Paris and you would totally fit in. And this is not a sponsored video in any way. I just really respect this girl. I love her work and I love what she's doing. I know that is a ton of information to take in and I hope the clips and the photos really got your imagination stirring. And do not forget, if you're going to Paris anytime soon, you have to get my Mapster. It has tons and tons and tons of resources for you about parks to go to, places to eat, places to stay, places to shop, different museums that I think are off the beaten path, and even special little roads for photo opportunities that I was just so geared up about going to. But it's basically, if I had all the time in the world and I wanted to go to Paris, these are the places that I would say are the best that you need to go to, that you need to see. That wraps it up. I'm so grateful for you. If you liked this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, and then Tell me what you think about Parisian street style and what you really think about what women are wearing in Paris right now. If you live in Paris and you are Parisian, I really would love for you to comment and tell me what am I missing and kind of give us a, a real view of what you think about your city's style. And be sure to watch next week's video where I'm gonna be breaking down all of my purchases from my trip to Paris, including some special little things that are just sweet and you won't wanna miss that. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you next week.